Morning guys, today is Pro-Am Day and before I tee off, I'm down here at Trafford Golf Centre and we're doing a bit of filming, we're doing a Q&A which every Friday will be released where we answer your comments that you've added on YouTube. So myself and Fletch are going to sit down in a second, start working through the comments, answer them on camera. Every Friday it will be released. I'm teeing off today at 1.30pm so I'll have a bit of time for filming, a bit of time for practice and then over to the golf course. So, say hi to Fletch. Morning. Good morning. Morning, Carter. <laughs> How are you doing? I'm all good, mate. Instagram I'm all good. You? Hi, guys. Welcome to Improve My Golf. And uh, today's an analysis on my pram at Pikefold Golf Club in North Manchester, England. And I played with three clients. Really, really enjoyable day. Nice to get out with clients and play. Really really great to see them outside of the kind of coaching environment a bit more relaxed kind of few stories being banded around as you'd expect and also just to kind of see them on the golf course their reaction to something we can take into into lessons in the future as well but in terms of my round here's the leaderboard so as you can see it did okay uh tied second surprised and i'll tell you why because I felt like the course was playing easy. I felt like there was a lot of birdies out there. And I hit the ball really well actually. I hit the ball solid off the relatively solid off the tee. Iron shots felt pretty strong and I was hitting the ball a long way. I don't know if I feel like it was playing quite easy because I was hitting the ball a long way or just because the course didn't really feel that challenging. But I only shot one of them, so it was obviously very challenging. I start, we start on the seventh hole, which is a par three. I hit a six A, 180, 175 yards into the wind off the left, just short of the green, relatively straightforward chip on, and I made a putt. But then I, I proceeded to hit a hazard on the next hole, which led to a bogey. Par five after that was a really bad one as well, because I just left it short of the green, but duffed the chip, coming off with par and then walked onto a par three, 200 yards into the wind, missing the green, missing the up and down, two over par through four. And that's when I thought, this is gonna be a scrappy day. I've hit the ball quite well to start with, and it's, it's been pretty, I'm two over through four. I feel like I give the field, I feel like I give the field three shots. So that was really frustrating. I followed that up with kind of two pars and two relatively no, actually, one was a difficult par four, but the next one was a drivable par four, and I drove it just short of the green. Poor chip on again, left myself about. Actually, it was a really difficult chip because it was quite a. The flag was at the very, very front edge, and my ball was just here, but it was quite an undulating fairway. And obviously, you land it on the green, you go 10 foot past. You land it short, you rely on the bounce. And I relied on the bounce, and it just popped straight up into the air. Had it just jumped forward to touch, I was probably tapping in for Burley. So, yeah, okay, with a pinch of salt, I take the par. I moved on to the par five next, where I made a pretty comfortable birdie, really, really close to chipping in for eagle. I really tap in birdie for about an inch, just literally an inch short. So that was a bit frustrating. Two holes later, again, drivable par four. I put the driver pin high, chipped onto about six feet, rolled it in. So I'm, the really bad start that I had where I was two over through four, I'm now back to level par. Feeling happier. Not feeling totally confident with my game. Feeling like I'm hitting it okay, but not exactly where I want to hit it. Um, three holes that kind of came after that was a nine iron par three, which I hit the green pin high, but about 30 foot left. Two putts, so solid enough. Next off, that was a kind of a, a double dog leg par four, which was an interesting one. So a little fade off the tee is required. Hit the right side of the fairway, you can see it, the green, but I kind of left it down the left, so I had to kind of hit over trees, which weren't really in my way, but they were in line of my flag. So I hit it over the back of the green, chipped on, awful chip. And this is where I, this is where I think I may have rescued my round a little bit in hindsight, because I then held a putt from around about 25 feet for par. So that much of a bad chip. And even going into the next hole as well, it was kind of 260 to the bunker, 270 to the water. I can't hit through, but I can't hit driver. 
I've gone to hit a really hard one out because it shook as the wind's into the face as well. So I wanted to make sure that I hit the fairway. And I did, but I caught it a little bit toey and I left myself 190 into the flag. I double crossed the five iron and I left myself. The last thing I said to myself, do not miss this whole left. Miss this whole left and you've got a massive bunker and you're hitting downhill into the green. So what did I do guys? Yeah, I missed left. And I was behind the bunker, it required a bit of a flop shot. I tried to use a bit of imagination because it was kind of sloping short of the green from the rough into the into the green. So I tried to hit a little flop shot, landing it in the rough. So the first bounce would just pop on. And it did okay. Left myself about a 10 foot putt for par, which I converted. Those two holes, massive. Because I was two over, two birdies back to level, two bogeys that could have been. I could have been back to two over par. Thankfully, I started in the seventh hole, so I got through the 18th hole back at all at level par. So feeling feeling confident, thinking right, okay, I've rescued them, I've rode my luck, par five to come, let's get birdie. This was hard. This was a 560 yard par five, uphill drive into the wind. So block my drive into the rough and now you're in no man's land. I'm actually in the trees on a downhill lie having to go under the tree but over the ridge. Didn't quite clear the ridge and I've still got, I was at 320 yards from the rough and I had to hit a chip and run again. So I hit a chip and run out onto the fairway, left myself 180 into the flag. So I'm scrapping, hit the green, two put bogey. Uh, a couple of holes that kind of come after that made some interesting pars where I probably one of them should definitely make birdie because it was a drivable par 4 again 270 to the flag uphill so I went with 3 wood put it low off the bottom of the club left it short of the green managed to chip on 2 putts off lipped out actually, lipped out on that hole which was a bit annoying the hole after though I did make a really good par we, near, we were close to losing my drive I took on the outer bounds cleared the dog leg and I had a hunt, found my ball eventually after about two or three minutes. 100 yards into the green, semi thinned it over the back, chipped on, putted for par. So I don't know how you how you how do you think this sounds? I'm missing, I'm duffing chips around the green to get up and down for birdie, but then I'm holding 10 foot put to par when so the hole doesn't quite go according to plan. So it's that six or one half a dozen of the other. You kind of you messing up, but you're saving yourself. Or could you say, well, save myself, don't mess up, could have been really low. Or, don't don't save myself, do mess up, could have been really high. So, yeah, I'm struggling to kind of think where my score should be right now. But, thankfully enough, I said to the guy, I said, right, I've got three holes left. What am I faced with? I'm level par, what can I do? He said, you've got one birdie chance down the last. It's a 280-yard par four into the window but you've got a chance I said right okay so we'll, so we'll make two pars and finish on a birdie funnily enough next hole into the wind driver to about 140 yards short of the green little dog, the little dog legs of the wind helping around the corner hit a wedge onto six foot made birdie right one under two to go come on drive off the next trying to figure out where to go there's a hazard all down the left there's a bunker at 270 it's into the wind off the right again so I said, I said to him, the plane guy, I said, what about if I go down that fairway? And he said, that's a great idea, because a lot of the low handicappers go down that fairway, because then they can hit back across again. The flag was on the left side of the green, so that's the perfect angle back in. Rather than trying to toy with the bunker, the fairway, the hazards, so I just knocked it down the rough, so I didn't, wasn't going to have great control, but using driver, I could leave myself inside of 100 yards. That's exactly what I did. <clears throat> Went down the rough, down the right hand side, avoiding the hazard and the bunker. Left myself 101. To me, that's a real no, 107. That's a really nice, strong, 54 degree control the trajectory. Take the divot, take the ball, and I knocked it to 10 foot. Buzzing, buzzing downhill, right to left put. In she goes. Two under. We want to play, and, and this is now the hole they said I should birdie. So I'm like, right, okay. I'm pumped, I'm feeling good, I'm two under. If I can get to three under, in my mind I'm thinking, 
I might sneak third place because I felt like it was quite easy out there. Drive was a bit wayward off to the right side, but it was okay. I had 50 yards exactly to the flag, but it was a narrow pin, narrow front edge of the green I was chipping onto, over a bunker from the rough. Not a massive amount of, um, of control available, not loads of green to work with either. This is where I had to have a chat with myself. I just said, you know what? Go for it. You, you're, two on, you're two under. Sorry, you're one under. What is the point? in what is the point in being short or not going for it so at this point sorry again I think I miscalculated somewhere else but I'm one under I've gone birdie birdie and at this point now I'm thinking sorry I, guess I, bo I bogeyed the par 5 to go one over a couple of pars back to back birdies now one under sorry so I need to get to two under I need to snatch third or fourth place or something like that so I went for it, flop shot, 50 yards out, really high, landed just one foot short of the flag, and then rolled out five, five foot past. Right. Finish two under, see how you can get on. And get up there, the guy, funnily enough, one of the guys playing parts was just behind my ball, so he went first, he rolled it in from six foot. Didn't move, he did not move. I dived in at the end like that, what's that doing? Did not move. So I marked it, I checked it, I thought to myself, this is this should move left to right. But I thought this putt didn't move, he put it in dead weight, he didn't ram it. So I put it on the left edge. Dead weight. Bobbled about halfway, genuinely bobbled about an inch off the ground. Missed it right. Oh, it's absolutely devastated. So I finished one under par today and I'm quite happy with it. Quite happy with one under par, I think that's quite a I hope, let me know what you think, because I feel like I probably could have shot five. But then again, I feel like I could have shot two over, one over. So, yeah, you could say it's a relatively fair average for where I feel like I could have shot, or probably should have shot. So, one under's not bad. And when I got in the clubhouse, three under one, two was tied at one under, really happy with second place. It's nice to go out and play with my clients, and it's nice to go out and play with them and perform well and get high up the leaderboard. There'd be nothing worse than going to shoot five or six over par finishing down the bottom of the leaderboard, then walking away going, good job you can teach. So hopefully they walk away so I can do both. So it was an, it was an enjoyable day. Uh, it was a difficult day. There was, there was wind, there was rain. Never played the golf course. Birdies, bogeys, highlights, low lights. It, was, it had a bit of everything. It was enjoyable. There were bits that I need to go and practice. Not fully comfortable with my driver at the moment. It's really, it's really frustrating me. I'm not f making the right decisions at the right time. I'm not making the best decisions. So I need to go and draw away from there. I've, just, I've got a couple more programs. I'm actually playing another, another program with some clients at the end of this month. So I'm going to work hard in between now and then to try and get just get my game two or three shots better and let's see how we do. There'll be more tournament vlogs coming. I've got a pro only event in a couple of weeks as well, so this, this is going to be a constant thing, guys. So please stay tuned. I hope you're enjoying them. I hope you kind of get an insight into my mentality and also the, pro, the, the good things I'm doing on the golf course and the ultimate mess ups I'm doing on the golf course. Please do comment on the video below. We are doing a Q&A every Friday, so we will be answering some of these questions that you do write on our, on our videos. Please do subscribe to the channel as well if you're enjoying this type of video. There's going to be lots more to come and I'll see you again very soon.